Once you store some documents in your solar, you will want to start thinking about a strategy for dealing with updates for the current index documents. While working with a relational database, you can simply update a specific column in a row. However, with NoSQL databases, and in particular with Solar, you generally have to update the entire document, even if you modify just a part of the document. We'll see why it's behaving like this next. Solar supports three approaches to update documents that have changed only partially. Atomic updates, in-place updates, and optimistic concurrency. In Solar, you can update existing document by sending a new version of the document. Behind the scenes, Solar deletes the existing document and creates a new one. This occurs whether you change one field or all the fields. When your application is sending a new version of a document, it must contain all the fields. Otherwise, you may lose some data fields. For some application in which documents can be created from other sources, this isn't such a big deal. However, for others that use Solar as the primary data store, recreating a document in its entirety in order to update a single field can be problematic. In practice, this requires user to query for the entire document, apply the changes, and send back to Solar the full document. This pattern of requesting all fields for an existing document, updating a subset of the fields, and sending the new version to Solar became a common practice. Consequently, Atomic Updates became a feature in Solar, and this feature allows clients to send updates that only have the fields you want to change. This brings Solar more in line with how relational database updates work. Solar will still delete and create a new document internally. However, this is not a concern of the application client anymore. Returning to our search Twitter example, let's imagine that we want to update a field of an existing document which holds the number of times the tweet has been liked. To keep things simple, let's say that we update this field once a day. First, let's add a document to the index. To use atomic updates, we should add a modifier to the field that needs to be updated. Here is an example request to update the likes count field using JSON. Behind the scenes, Sora locates the existing document with ID2, retrieves all stored fields from the index, then deletes the existing document, and finally recreates a new document from all the existing fields plus the updated likes count field. I should mention that for this to work, all fields must be defined with a store attribute set to true, because as you can observe, the client application is only sending the ID field and the field to be updated. All other fields must be pulled from the existing document from the Solar Index. Let's see another, more complex example. The content of a document can be updated, added to, or incrementally increased if the field has a numeric type. Here, inc increments a numeric value by a specific amount and it must be specified as a single numeric value. The add modifier adds the specific value to a multi-valued field. It can be specified as a single value or a list. And finally, remove modifier removes the occurrences from a multi-value field. And it may also be a single value or a list. In-place updates are very similar to atomic updates. In some sense, this is a subset of atomic updates. For regular atomic updates, the entire document is re-indexed internally during the update. However, in this approach of in-place updates, only the fields to be updated are affected, and the rest of the document is not re-indexed internally. Hence, the efficiency of updating in place is unaffected by the size of the documents that are updated, that is, the number of fields or the size of the fields. Apart from these internal differences, there are no functional differences between the two. Now, the question is, how do we execute an in-place update? Basically, the same way as we execute atomic updates operation. However, there are three conditions that have to be met. First, the targeted fields should be non-indexed, non-stored, single-value, 
and numeric doc value fields. Second, the version field is also non-indexed, non-stored and single value doc value. And if there are copy fields present, they should also have the same properties. Same as we did for atomic updates, in order to use the in-place updates, we should add a modifier to the field that needs to be updated. The content can be simply updated or incrementally increased using set or ink modifiers.